What's up marker heads? It's Karen and I know that you guys have been waiting to see the coloring of this Bulbasaur picture. I do intend to upload a full walkthrough of me coloring with colored pencil line art uh, because there are some things that you need to know when you're using Copics to color colored pencil line art and all of that stuff. However, I have been very sick and it's been really hard for me to do commentary. Even sitting down and doing this shorter video has been really tough, um, but I intend to do a very long video of this whole coloring process, and I plan on making it about 45 minutes long. Uh, so that commentary, I started doing it and I just couldn't finish it because my throat has been really sensitive. If I talk too long, it dries out and then I start coughing uncontrollably. And it's miserable, so I'm really trying to keep this one short, but I still want to get the coloring out to you guys. So you're going to see this Bulbasaur a few times on my channel, but I am very proud of this picture, and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I hope that you guys are alright with seeing multiple versions of this image um, on my channel. I do want to make sure that I get this time-lapse video because I want to show you guys how it turned out but um, also not make you guys wait for a really long time because it is going to take me a while for my body to heal and get back to the point where I can do a 40 <laughs> 45 minute long commentary without dissolving into a coughing mess. So I do hope that you guys look forward to that video. So if I start to talk and then pause randomly, I do apologize, uh, that is probably me pausing the recording and then hacking my lungs out and then coming back because I am still getting over whatever it was that I had, whether it was allergies or maybe even something that I was actually sick with. I'm not really sure. Whatever it was, it makes my throat really sensitive, so I do apologize and <laughs> hopefully we can get through this video together. So yeah, anyway. Um, what I want to talk about in this time-lapse video is mainly my thoughts about the artwork itself. I want to save what I'm doing and how I'm coloring things for my longer walkthrough video. Um, so the first thing I guess I'll talk about is that this video, or this picture, took me around 10 hours to complete. And that doesn't count all of the time I took to do the tutorial and all of the time that I took to do this video and the uh, next, the one that's coming up, it's I'm gonna have a lot of time invested into this picture, is what I'm trying to say. And that's not something I typically do with my commissions. Typically I'll do the artwork and that the um, person asked me to do and not go much further than that because one, I don't want to do a whole bunch of work uh, above and beyond what they're paying me for, but also because I need to be able to move on to the next commission. However, this was the first commission I've done in a while and I wanted to really have fun with it and because it's a subject that I kind of really wanted to draw anyway, um, it made it hard for me to control myself and keep it under the time limit I had for myself which was around 5 hours but I spent about 10 hours because I just love flowers and Bulbasaurs and so... I just had too much fun. But that's okay because I am very proud of the picture and I am very happy about the way it turned out so I'll definitely be keeping a print of it in my room. When I send it off to the commissioner they'll have the original but I'll definitely have a print of it for myself because I do love this picture so much and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Another note about the picture and the subject matter is that the commissioner originally just came to be asking for Bulbasaur, but mentioned that Bulbasaur was their grandma's favorite Pokemon, so I thought that it would be a lot of fun to find out maybe what their grandma's favorite flower was. Um, you know, because Bulbasaur is a grass Pokemon, I wanted to put him in a very natural or at least very planty setting, so I asked what their grandma's favorite flowers were and their grandma's favorite flowers were pansies and lilacs and I definitely have a very strong newfound appreciation for pansies before I was just like eh 
they're that really cheap flower you buy at Walmart every year in the spring, but now I'm like, pansies are awesome because there are so many different kinds, and I had a lot of fun finding different varieties and coloring them in my video, or in my picture, I keep saying video, but it's a picture, but I had so much fun incorporating all these different varieties of pansy into the artwork. And that's a big part of why I went overboard spending time on this picture, is just because I was kind of discovering uh, all these different flowers and doing all this research, and research is a really big part of my illustration process anyways, it's just something that I find very entertaining and very enjoyable. And I feel like I'm learning something when I'm learning how to draw something um, by researching about it and maybe, you know, looking at the different varieties of flower or different types of clouds or whatever I am doing in my illustration, I tend to research what I'm drawing. And I feel like that's really important when you're illustrating something, at least when you're doing kind of borderline cartoony realistic <laughs> um, sort of artwork that I do. I do kind of a a style that is definitely not realism, but it does draw a lot from reality, and so doing all that research really... it has a sort of um, enjoyable sort of process to it that I really like to do in my artwork. Anyway, that leads me into my question for you guys for this video. Which would be, what really gets you guys inspired and motivated when you're drawing? What makes you guys draw and draw without stopping? <laughs> um, because it's really fun to feel that inspiration and that drive, especially when you're in the middle of an illustration and you're just so excited to continue to work on what you're working on that you just lose all sense of time. Um, and I, I, I just kind of am curious as to what makes you guys go into art mode, <laughs> because I know that um, for everyone it's different, and for everyone the uh, extent of how much you get into it can be different, and sometimes it's rare to come across that, that illustration that gets you so motivated to draw. So. I guess what I'm taking away from this illustration in terms of what I've learned from it is that I am definitely going to be doing a lot more floral illustrations. I don't think I've done a lot of illustrations with flowers, but they are so much fun to draw because there are so many different kinds of flowers. The Everything from the blooms to the way the plants are shaped when they grow is so unique and variated and I guess, I don't know what to say. Um, there's so much variety and diversity in the plants that you can put into your illustration, and so it makes for, I guess, a new experience, almost like you're exploring a different garden every time you're doing an illustration. At least that's how I feel, and I had so much fun doing this piece. I almost imagine that because this piece was uh, done with the favorite flowers of the grandmother of the commissioner in mind, I kind of imagine that uh, this is the grandma's garden and the Bulbasaur is the grandma's B Bulbasaur <laughs> and she's she's just come home and he's picking some flowers for her just to be like, look I picked you juice some flowers. I don't know, that's just kind of my, uh, the story that I kind of see when I look at this illustration. I don't know, it's kind of interesting to come up with that sort of story as you're drawing, and it's something that I do quite frequently. Uh, and I guess that's why I was eventually drawn to Illustrator. I know that it, in my youth, as a, te as a teenager, I definitely decided, er, desired to become a game designer or a game um, art director, that sort of illustrator. That <laughs> my son is excited about something. Uh, I know that when I was in uh, high school and even right after I graduated, I wanted to be a game designer and I wanted to go to school to do um, illustration in game design. And as I got older, I realized that um, 
my passion was really centered around just illustrating in general. And so it's kind of interesting to see how maybe um, your desires don't change, but you really realize what's important to you and what, um, what you actually really enjoy doing. Because I know that now, um, even though when I was younger, I felt like character design was really what I was all about. I know, I do know now that doing full and finished illustrations is much more my thing. So that's kind of interesting, and that's something that um, I learned about myself is that I do like to put stories into art, and I do like to uh, <laughs> illustrate a story that you can almost see in one image. So that's kind of all I really have to say about this because I don't want to talk too much more because I don't want to repeat myself when it comes to the longer video. So I do appreciate you guys watching this. Again, uh, if you want to answer my question about what really gets you guys in the zone when you're drawing, please answer that question down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys are really into. It's just a lot of fun. To Excuse me. It's a lot of fun to get the conversation going, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again in the next video. And I really, really appreciate all of you guys who have been sharing and liking and subscribing. It really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please uh, do, because I do put out new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. And I really appreciate all of you guys joining me on my art journey. It's been so much fun, and I want to be part of your guys' art journey as well. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I apologize if my son is, like, audible in this video, because he's he's watching Spongebob right now, and he's laughing at the show, so <laughs> he's being a little bit noisy. But that's okay, because he's three. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you. I'll see you again later.